Today I want to talk to with you about Venezuela. But before I do, I want to set a context. And the context is the colonial system of Great Britain when the United States, not yet that, was a colony. In those days, the United States decided, the people in this country, to organize themselves militarily to wage a violent revolution against the settled government run by Britain, King George III. That violent revolution overthrew the power of the king. We declared ourselves independent. A lot of people died along the way in military action and in all the suffering that goes with military action. We were trying to get economic, political, and cultural independence because life had become intolerable as a colony of Great Britain. Why do I tell you the story? Because Venezuela is similar. For 150 or more years, Venezuela has been a rich country, good climate, lovely seashore, wealthy resources. And in recent decades, oil, perhaps the wealthiest resource they could have had. It could have been a country of well-being. It could have been a country of shared wealth, of shared opportunity, but it wasn't. A tiny group of people cornered the wealth, using the capitalist system to enrich themselves and to make the vast majority of Venezuelans very poor and desperate, a, a situation common across Latin America. Many years went by, they were resigned, like the Americans. They were hesitant to do anything, like the Americans. And then a situation arose after years, generations of suffering to maybe make a change. A general, mm, like Washington maybe, changed sides from being somebody who was a loyal subject of the system, as Washington had been, Mr. Chavez became an opponent of the existing system, even though he had supported it before. And suddenly the people thought they had a chance to maybe change things. That's what's being fought out in Venezuela. The forces that want to keep Venezuela as it has been, the rich elite, 5, 10, 15 percent of the population, no more supported, as usual, by the United States, and particularly the companies getting rich off of the resources of Venezuela, what? versus the majority of people who want to change everything, who want a new society, a more equal society. That's what the issue is in Venezuela. Don't be distracted by all the screaming and yelling of the two sides. It happens all the time. Are people being killed? Yes. Are they suffering? For sure. Is that awful? Yes. But just as it didn't shake the basic historical and economic struggle in our revolution, it shouldn't shake the basic question being fought out in Venezuela, which isn't about details of government, but about the fundamental organization, direction, and justice of that society. This is Richard Wolff for Economy Minute.